Hello, hello. hello. All right. Hello and welcome to Fiddlework Gaming. I'm Justin and we're back with another live stream. Hello, low life. You're always first. Thanks for thanks for coming on. Um, are you excited? I'm excited. I uh, recently got this getting an echo. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me just try to fix that. Test, test. Test, test. Are you still getting an echo, low life? I'm not sure. Let me just check here. How does that sound? Does that sound better? Hopefully it does. I'm not sure why it's echoing. Okay, great. Uh, some weird reason. Um, the video was picking up my computer. Uh, it's picking up, it must've been picking up the sound via the computer instead of my headphones, which it usually should. <laughs> so I just turned the monitoring off, but anyways, um, yeah, today we're going to be doing, uh, unboxing of the colonial port house set by foreground terrain. Um, and it's for, you could use it for a lot of things. You could use it for, um, D and D you can use it for like war gaming in this kind of, it's, it's a colonial Spanish kind of style. So you could use it for like, I don't know, maybe world war two war or one world, um, war gaming colonial 17th 18th century kind of stuff um so i'll be using it for blood and plunder um which is a miniatures war game by firelock games it's a, like a pirate war game um I'll also be using this for DD because i am relatively lacking in houses so um so yeah let's open it up i did i kind of cheated a little bit and i did uh i did open it just to make sure nothing was broken and then all the parts were there, but I didn't, apart from breaking these uh, tape seals, I haven't done anything. So let's check it out. Ooh, bubble wrap. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. All right, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> um, all right, so. Now these are uh, all the foreground stuff, or most of it, I believe, is laser cut wood, um, and that means um, it's all made out of like thin wood, which is cut with this like super duper laser, um, which you can program into to cut any shape you want. Um, so it's all flat packed, which is nice because shipping's not too bad, um, the weight's not too bad, and it's all comes in like. A uh, big package like this. Yeah, it can be definitely be in a seaside town. That's kind of what it's made for, um, and it's kind of what I hope to use it for as well. Um, we'll just put that box down there for now. Um, wow, it smells. So you can really smell with laser cut wood um, because they're actually cutting wood. You can really smell the burnt. Uh, embers, I guess. Um, so you have that scorched wood smell when you open the box, which is, I don't know, if you like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's real wood, low life. So it looks like, I'll just show you. Yeah, you can even see it's got some soot on it. Um, 
but yeah, this is all basically all wood. See, you can see all the, the black part. That's all like the soot that comes from the laser cutting, I guess, which I'm going to wipe off. Um, actually, I might get a mat so I don't, so I don't dirty my nice ocean. Um, so I'll just get some, I'll just put some of this mat board down. Some of the dirty stuff that we used last time. There we go. Yeah, so it's got all these, uh, I guess this is the roof material here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it comes off. Oh, it's pretty delicate. Um, so this stuff I'm guessing you glue down. Now we used, um, oh, it's actually kind of similar to what I use. It looks like some sort of paper material, um, the roof. We used, um, in these examples, I did the DIY house, we used a pizza box lid. Um, so we weren't too far off, but yeah, I guess it comes out in strips like this. Um, and then you glue these down on the roof and whoa, this is, this is also cause I'm sort of not sure what this is for, but we'll find out. Um, and then we'll get, ooh, instructions, yay. So this set comes with three houses. It's the port house set. There's, there's like a two story house. Um, there's a bigger kind of main house and then there's a smaller off, yeah, like side house. Actually, there's no, there's a three story house, a two story house, and then a smaller kind of one story house at the bottom. And you can range them however you want. So I guess we'll start by working on, oh, what is all this stuff? Okay. So we got maybe some of the flooring here. I'm not sure what this is for. We got a bunch of, uh, uh, I'm usually the type to read instructions. Come on, Alex, you know me, I, I read, I read instructions. I read rules before I even buy the game. So it's a mix of uh, these more sturdy um, wooden pieces and then these kind of, I guess it's like thick paper or thick card stock kind of, which I'm guessing is for the, the details, like the window sills and, and whatnot. And then you'll be able to put those on. There's definitely a nice side, a clean side. So we'll use this as the outside. And then um, this is the dirty side. So we'll put that in the inside of most of our, our buildings. Now, I'm not sure, I think, judging by the photo there, um, and I've heard there's some sort of like stucco material, like render powder that comes with some kits. Maybe this kit doesn't come with it. Um, which is fine. Cause I think I might try to do what we did with the, uh, the grout on this as well. So it might be a kind of hybrid, um, or I'll just finish it with my own DIY stuff, but we'll definitely assemble the base today. What, what type are you low life? Are you the type to, uh, just go for it and not read instructions? Wow. This is really sooty. Um, page 12 of 12, 12 pages. Oh my goodness. Okay. I can, we'll start with page one. It's always good to start on page one. Maybe page four, page two, page one. Okay. So these pages are just the, uh, this is just the component key. So we'll keep this handy. This will tell us what components belong where. And then I think page five starts with the three story house. Maybe it's got a staircase. So we'll go ahead and start with page five and do that. So all you need with these kits is just glue. So I'm told I brought my hobby knife just in case I needed to do anything, but, uh, everything comes assembled 
I'll just use glue to put it together. And I'm gonna get rid of these, whoa, whoa these uh, roof tiles for now. We'll use these later. They're very delicate. Um, yeah, we'll put those on later. Same with this thing. I think. Well, maybe we need this. I don't know. We'll see. So we need a one. You want to follow instructions and follow instructions and organize everything out first. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's always a bit easier that way. Get a little less confused. So we're looking for A1, which is conveniently marked right here. So this is the piece we're gonna use. I'm gonna wipe this down. So you can see, I don't know if you can see my black fingertips. Uh, that's the soot coming off. So just be careful when you use it. Maybe you wanna wipe, wipe this away. Now, I'm kind of a messy guy, so I probably won't. I probably won't go too anal doing this. Just enough so I can kind of get rid of the uh, bulk of the soot. Now, that's good enough. Put this over there. All right. And I think we can just punch these out. Oh, I see. Actually, looking at the, uh, looking at the wood, it actually does appear to be a little textured. So I might not use, we'll, we'll see how it looks when we assemble it, but I might not, I might, I might just keep it as is because it is slightly textured, which is cool. Maybe they had a render powder in the earlier kits and it just didn't work out very well. And they switched to this, uh, um, just rough surface, which actually looks pretty good. All right. So we have this and then, what, oh yeah, the instructions. Here we go. A1 and A2. A2 of course is on a different sheet, isn't it? We're just going to look for it. A1. A8. Oh my God, so many sheets. Put this down, I don't think you need this to lay it. K2. I think they're trying to, uh, probably I'm guessing they're trying to make the most efficient packing option available. Um, which means A is stuck somewhere else. Or is it because, what are these? A3. There's so much stuff. JK. Where's A2? I can't find it. We got A3, which looks similar, which looks close, but let me, let me just. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Well, A4, nope. P2, A3, it's like they want to keep it hidden. C2. Am I going crazy? I can't even find it on these sheets. Okay, it's definitely not on here. A4, A5. I cannot find A2. Let's see what it looks like in the instructions. It just looks like a little...
almost a little um like uh molding on the side so maybe it's in these other things It was sandwiched between some some other materials. So here we go. A2. Haha, A2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always in the most obvious place. So, uh A2, we're just going to Now this is like the more cloth material or not cloth, um paper like material. So this is just the finishings. And now, oh my god, we're losing pieces. Got to remember I don't... I mean, it's nice because the, the pieces like just come off easily. But um, now, glue. We glue this. Okay, we're going to put the glue on this side. And I've got my glue. Maybe I need a bigger working area. I might just extend this. Yeah, that's a bit better. Then my glue won't spill all over my mat. So we're just gonna blop some glue on here. Helps if it's open. Yeah. All right. Oop. Yeah, we're just gonna be a little. It it dries clear, right? So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. There we go. Plop and plop. All right. We're going to let that dry momentarily. And then... Oh, man. Doors? They make us do doors first? That seems hard. I was hoping I'd do the doors at the end. Maybe there might be a reason why we do them first, though. Maybe we get trapped. Okay, i got to look for the doors now. Oh, they're right here. So apparently these doors, they... Uh, they open and close by themselves. These are not the right doors. Sorry, they don't open and close by themselves. They, um, you can close and open them with the power of your uh, muscles from your finger. Okay, here we go. Here are the doors. This looks more like it. So we're going to wipe this down too. It's pretty sooty. I grew up in the country, so this kind of reminds me of um, wood burning stove. and soot everywhere. I was, uh, I was always tasked with getting the wood when I was a kid. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna break these off. Now I'm trying to be a little careful. I don't wanna break, break any of this, so. <laughs> Motion sensor door on colonial housing, yes. <laughs> a little bit a uh, little bit of a new technology for uh, for that era maybe. Maybe just a tad futuristic. Okay, so we're going to put the doors on. Um There's a little thing here. It looks like I have to glue 
handles on the door. Oh wait, I missed a step. A3, so remember we had A3 before? That has to go on the back. Apparently. So this little piece here has to go on the back here. And again, we'll do the pretty side. And again, we're just gonna glue this. And we'll just put a very, very, very thin strip of glue again. Not being too tidy about this, it's whatever. And this goes right like so. Okay. So that's done. And we got some tiny little handles, I guess, on... Uh, on the door, which we have to glue on. A6. We've got a bunch of A6s. I'm just gonna pop that out. Make sure not to lose these ones, because these are really tall and tiny. But actually I like I like how um I like how all this stuff is pretty detailed even though it's like flat packed. You got some nice railings here. You got some nice doors and even the handles on the doors and the window grates. It's pretty nice. <laughs> well, right now they're all attached. So, I mean, attached to the uh, the sprue. So that's, that's good. Um, all we have to do is glue these on. Oh my God. I think they go like this or they go like this. I don't know which way did it. I guess I go like this. Man. Yeah, it looks it's pretty detailed. So we'll just glue these uh that's way too much glue for this little little uh, piece but we'll just do that and we'll rob some for the other handle haha <laughs> there we go so we'll just take that there and put it on the other handle or the other door frame and stick it in like so and we'll just let that set for a minute and we're just gonna wipe off the glue excess glue on the other piece because it's dripping it drooping out a little bit should be semi set and we'll just wipe away the excess <laughs> danger danger piece is too tiny yeah um but low life you know me i'm used to i'm used to working with tiny things there now what are these? Oh, I gotta glue hinges. Now we have hinges. A7, I bet. Yeah, A7. Okay. See, low left, I almost don't need instruction. Phrasing? <laughs> hey, come on, low laugh, low life. We're not that sort of stream. Uh, okay. Oh, I need four of these. Yes. Four would be helpful. I'm so scared right now. One of these pieces is going to go flying into the abyss and I'll never find it ever again. Oh no, gosh. Okay. Now, how do we do this? We... No glue, it says. No glue and then glue. So we'll do no... 
Man. This is trickier than I thought. Uh, I think I'll just put it on like this. And then... I <laughs> percent lose it. No, no low life. I will, I will not lose anything. I'm going to be good. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I think maybe... Can I glue it first and then put it on? Or is that going to... Yeah, I can totally do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to glue it first. That seems more... That seems more logical. I really need, like, a toothpick to apply all this glue. And do you have a toothpick somewhere? Or a little tiny... Hmm. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna... <laughs> You're stressed watching. No, this is a... This is a soothing stream. Um... I'm gonna go get a toothpick. I'll be right back. Um, Lowlife, can you just comment on how the audio is? Is it okay? The music... I use new music this time, so I'm wondering if the balance is okay. Um, if you could let me know, that'd be great. Ah, I raided the kitchen for some toothpicks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Backgroundly. Perfect. Thank you. I'm glad the music and the audio levels are working out. I feel like every stream is almost like a, at this stage, because I'm kind of new, every stream is almost like a, uh, an experiment. All right, we're going to apply some glue and we're going to put some hinges down like a pro, like a pro, boom, and boom. Oh. Oh my god. I guess they get they they make you get away uh, you do the fiddly bits first. So um you're not as stressed out later on. Get the hard stuff away and done with. You don't know if delicate work is a boom kind of... No, it is. I've... It's... Uh... It's glued with preciseness. Preciseness? Uh, uh, with... I don't know. It feels right. It feels right. I'm going to continue using the boom sound. Oh, no. Too much glue. Uh... I really thought this was going to be a super quick and easy uh, build. Um, and I think for the most part it will be, but this part is very, uh, it's, it's, I mean, when you get working, when you, when you have working parts, like mechanical parts, even if it's something simple as a hinge, it's always a little tricky to uh, set up in the first place. Oh, boom. Yeah, I, I forgot the boom. Boom. There we go. Got my hinges set up. That looks fine and dandy. Make sure my doors aren't being glued to the... Oh. Now I'm stressed. Okay. <laughs> no glue. Did the doors. A A7. What's A7? Oh, yeah, A7 is the hinges. Okay, um... Huh? 
Oh, now we're working on A8. Check that the door can still open. We'll do that later once the glue's dried. Repeat for other door. Now we're on now we're on a dis different section. Um looks to be the same doors, so I'm just going to pop these out so we have all the pieces ready and handy. Um, and we need A3, we need A2, and we need A3, correct, correct, yes, we're getting the hang of this, no, I will not lose pieces, I, I refuse, um, actually I've already lost a piece, but it's right here. There we go. <laughs> and we need another A2. See, we got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. There. What's J2? We got J... <sighs> Um, yeah, we need this piece later. I don't want to drop this. Okay, I'm just carefully put that down and look for A8. Which is somewhere, somewhere. Aha, it's not that far down. It's right here. Ugh, I should wipe this suit away, I guess. Should I even bother at this point? I don't know. Do -do. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, maybe you don't want to soak it, but you could, you could definitely wash it. Um, yeah, technically you could wash it low life, but I'd have to wait for it to dry and then I wouldn't be able to do the unboxing. So meh, it's fine. I actually made some other pieces. Um, I'm going to do a little break and show and tell. So these little, uh, these little carts came with the, um, not this set, but a separate set. I it was just like a little mini pack that I bought because I don't really have any carts um, and they're they look pretty good because they're made of wood and carts are generally made of wood and I don't know if you can see but uh, yeah they're not bad they're nice for D&D &D and just little pieces of terrain I got a big cart there and this is a little smaller cart you know you can see uh, maybe uh, little girl at the market selling flowers on this one yeah it looks nice but anyways those are the carts back to the uh, building if I can just lock my focus again please Yeah, we could have used that. Thomas could have used that last time in our last um, uh, D and D session. Um, Low life's character and my character uh, just hauled a bunch of books out on a cart. Um, and that cart mini would have been useful. Although we just we what did we do? We we, we sold them right away. I guess did we sell them? I forget. Where are the books? I don't even remember. I remember trying to read them. I don't know if we sold them or not. I don't think we did. We should have sold them. Okay, we got to glue this on. So, pop 
pop this over here. My phone, sorry. Just put that here. And hope we ain't getting them back now. No, I know. I didn't expect us to uh, be booted out of the city so soon. I was talking to my wife. Um, I was talking to Megan. You know Megan. I don't have to call her my wife. Um, I was talking to Megan. She was like, um, yeah, we we're both saying how like, wow, we didn't expect to be uh, to be out of the city so quickly. Well, I guess I guess we I guess we were efficient. We didn't even have breakfast yet. Do you remember? Um, we were looking for a breakfast place and then. And then got booted out of the city before breakfast. Well, at least we had some street food, but I was I was hoping to try the uh, I don't know something a bit nicer. But we'll 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 go back. Don't worry, we'll we'll be back. As long as the city doesn't sink. <laughs> um. Okay. We're doing the same thing as the other door. So we're just putting this on. No, I mean not 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 immediately. We're not going to sneak back immediately, but one day. I still have a, a a librarian to deal with. Um For those of you who don't know, we are playing Descent in a D and D campaign. Descent into the Avern Descent into Avernus. Um, we're just at the beginning of the campaign, I think. Well, we're still in. Um, I'm not DMing this one, but we're still in. Uh, we just left Baldur's Gate, I guess. More appropriately, we just got kicked out of Baldur's Gate. So we will see what happens in the near future. Um. Man, more doors. I'm going to save this door for later. Because I want to do something that, that has a bit more visual impact and makes me feel good. Putting on door handles doesn't make me feel good right now. Oh, hey, Mia. Welcome. Thanks. Yeah, we're just, um, we're just going through the, uh, going through the pieces right now there's a lot of different pieces and i thought it wasn't going to be as finicky as it is but it's some of it's a little finicky but we're going to do one of these big floor pieces right now um b1 we're looking for b1 and it should be one of those nice like cobblestone floors and of course I don't know where it is. Is this B1? No, that's K1. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. So this is B1 here. So we're gonna do this piece. This is the floor, I guess. And then we do the stairs, which is just uh, B1 B2. So B1's here. Or B2 is here, sorry. So I'm just going to pop this out. And now we need some more stairs. Uh... Oh, this is B2. So there's P2s. Okay, we just need B2, B3. What's B3? Oh, there's a B3 as well for the stair portion. No, no, no. The cobblestones are not separate pieces. That would be insane. I would, I would stop the stream right now if that was the case. Now we're looking for B3. Well, it's nice to have doors that open. I mean, 
I'm happy about that. A little bit of extra work and I have uh, I have doors that I can open and close. That's pretty cool. Where's B3? Uh, oh no. Too many pieces. A8. Maybe it's down here. Nope. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, but I think because they flat pack everything, I'm not sure it would have worked. Um, if the door hinges were like there by themselves. So. Oh, B3 is a tiny little piece. Of course it is. Of course it is. B1, B2. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm looking through all these pages, trying to find B B3, 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 B3. I can't, I can't find it. It's going to be here somewhere, but there's just so many parts. Um, so it looks like B3. What is What does it actually look like? Oh, there are a bunch of tiny little steps. So this is a cobblestone step. So I just got to find some cobblestone. Aha, here it is. So this is like the, the cobblestone sprue. And this is B3. Yay. So this obviously goes like this. And we're just going to glue this and glue this. Like so. And then we'll put B3, uh, B3 between them. So, again, I'm going to get my trusty little toothpick. And we'll put a bit, a bit of glue down here. And then just use the toothpick to scoop it up. Yeah. Is this made out of food? Uh, no, I wouldn't recommend eating it. It is made out of wood, though. <laughs> yes, it's made out of wood. It's all laser cut wood. Um, which is nice because it's uh, easy to ship. And relatively cheap. It's, it's pretty, pretty affordable, these, uh, these little kits. Compared to what you'd you'd have to pay for if it was like I don't know Dwarven Forge or something or some resin set. Yeah. So we're almost done with these. Uh, uh, this part. Maybe we'll put a little bit more glue. Spread that out with the toothpick so it's uh, not too goopy. I just don't want to glue. Uh, I don't want to glue it onto the paper or like the uh, the board below. I just want it to set nice. There we go, and then this apparently goes um, in there. 
just like so. So again, we'll just use this piece. To, uh, yeah, I don't know. Do that. Just stuff this in. Like, like that. Okay. And then the steps we just do B4, B4, and then B3, and then B4, and then B3. And we go all the way up with the steps. So, a little bit time consuming on this part, but it should look nice once we're all done. I like that it'll be pretty structurally sound this way. Yeah, the steps are pretty nice. Um, they kind of overlap a bit too, so I'm pretty happy with them. I like that the cobblestone's kind of engraved in there. That's pretty nice. If you're worried about the color too, you can always paint this, like paint parts of it or something. I might do that, we'll see. I'll probably use it for a bit, like, like as is and then decide if I want to paint it later on. There. And then we just add another one. And we just keep going like this. Easy peasy. Even though this is a bit finicky, I don't mind this so much. Just like repetitive tasks. You're slowly building up. It's going to be really satisfying once you reach the top. these let me put this out of the way so we can get a more flat surface something like that there there we go or even there can you see that i can kind of see <laughs> no thanks come on you gotta appreciate you gotta appreciate the the details no? Okay, going up, going up the steps. Perfect, there we go. Yeah, I think they just did a pattern across it, so it's not, it's not uniform, so it's, it's good. Maybe some are duplicates. I should make sure I'm not uh, duplicating the same pattern on the next step, but I believe most are like pretty random. Low life, you'll never do stuff like this, but you're watching it. So I don't know what's worse. <laughs> getting there we have a uh, we have a few more steps to go there's a there's quite a few more steps to go literally steps and we're just gonna we don't need to use too much glue i don't think because there's gonna be so much glue when the whole thing is structured that it's gonna hold pretty well and this wood glue especially when you're using it on wood it's quite quite strong I mean, the bond is really good. <laughs> it's just chillax. I don't have to do anything, so it's all right. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. I appreciate you uh, joining my stream and just chilling out.
These steps are getting quite fun though. I mean like they're shaping up. Takes a little bit of time. But that's pretty fun. That's the dirty piece. We'll make the clean piece on the outside, even though you can't even see it. My OCDness will take over. Yeah, it's nice we have some some bigger pieces than a door. You know, I might even I might even abandon this uh not abandon, but set aside the steps for later. Uh, I just wanted to get a good structure on the uh, the stairs, but we might move because I want to show you guys like some some other things too if I can. Um, yeah, we might we might skip ahead a few steps. I can continue the steps later on my own, but let's just skip ahead because I don't think we need to. Yeah, you know what? We can actually attach uh, B5. What's this? I forgot what this one was. Oh, it says right there. We can actually attach B5 to the staircase at the back. I just have to find it. So this is this is the most, this is the fun part, finding it through the stack of sprues. B5, ah, uh, it's right here, not too bad. Oh God, this looks like more stairs. Are there two stairs? Wait a minute. Let me look at the box. Oh, these are the, these are the inside stairs, I think. Wait. I'm confused. So, but in the picture, it doesn't look like there's, I don't know. Can you guys see? This, this building has three floors. So I'm not sure the floor we're working on right now. I thought it was, it must, yeah, it's the bottom floor. But I'm not sure if you guys can see. Maybe it's kind of hard for you to see. But there's doesn't look to be an interior floor. So I'm not sure what this is all about. Or maybe this goes on the outside. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. This just goes on the outside, I think. I think. Yes, it does. I'm stupid. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got freaked out for a second. I thought there was more stairs than there should be. But no, this just this just pops on the outside like this. Which is... Yeah, we can do that now. It's not going to screw things up. So we can do this now. It just pops over there like this. Now I'm scared I'm gonna screw things up, but I think it's okay. Trust, trust in myself. So we're just gonna put some glue on here. Don't need too much. The atmospheric Hides the edges? Yeah, a little bit. It does hide them a little bit. All right, so we're just going to glue this wall on. 
the side. Just like so. And then we got a nice wall with a railing going up the side. So like that. And then we can glue on our door. Okay, we can actually probably put these. I think this is dry enough now we can put the, the door on. Um, the hinges. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, if I can, I'm gonna try. Hmm. It's a little finicky, but we're getting there. Oh boy. I just need the doors to go in. We almost got it. It's just a little tricky with two hinges. And I also want to be gentle because I don't want to rip the glue off because it's freshly cured. Ah, I did it. There we go. Yes. Got one, one door down. And the other side, just have to do the same thing. All we have to do is plop it down into the hinges as best we can. Come on. Almost got it. Hmm. It's actually more difficult than it looks. Or maybe it looks really difficult. <laughs> oh no. We got one door on. I'm just working on the other door right here. I don't know if you can, you can't probably see, but that's. Uh... Wonder if I, oh, I got the first hinge on, but the second hinge. One hinge wants to go on, but the other one doesn't. I just need to kind of wiggle it. So, come on. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the hobby knife just to carve off a little bit of the door. I think that should be enough. Just a tiny little, just to make way for the hinge. Not quite enough, so I'll we'll carve a little bit more off. There, that's rounded now, so it should go on a bit easier. There. Yay. We've got doors. But the doors are too. <laughs> Look what I did. Look what I did. So the doors <laughs> are too far. Um, I guess this is why you have to glue the hinges on first because the doors have to stick in quite a ways. So we're gonna, well, it's a good thing it's freshly cured because I can technically break the, uh, I can break the bond. It's not dry yet. I'll just have to re-glue it, it's okay. And reposition the hinges. Oh, hey, Mellow Minis, hey, Chris. Thanks for joining. We're just, uh, Working on these uh, hinged doors here, it's giving us some grief. Um, but we're just gonna have to rip them off and try again. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 
Oh, this is difficult. So we, we did it. We didn't follow the instruction. <laughs> I thought I'd do something that seemed easier at the time, which was uh, gluing the hinges on first and then and then putting the door on. In actuality, uh, that messed up the alignment. So we're putting the we, we now we have to re-glue it. So we're putting the hinges on first and then gluing it. Yeah, it's laser cut wood. So this is a laser cut wood kit. Um, and they look pretty nice once they're all assembled. I've never done a laser wood kit assembly before, so I'm having some difficulties. Um, but that's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there in due time. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now, now I'm going to try this one more time with the hinges. It's pretty hard because they're so, they're so tiny, the pieces. But I'm hoping this time things work in my favor. There we go. That's better. That looks much better. That looks like a door. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should use super glue for some parts. I was a little apprehensive of using super glue because I know it dries super fast and I didn't want to like, it's super strong too, so I didn't want to rip it out. So I'm using wood glue right now. Just in case I screw up, I have a little bit of time to work with it and pull it apart. Um, if I get good, I'll probably use super glue on the next one. And then we just have one more hinge to go uh, on this side. And then we'll do the other door and then, and then we'll be done with doors. I'm not doing any more doors tonight. I'm, I'm fed up with doors after this. Ooh, tacky glue. Yeah, that might actually be the best for this, this job. I probably should have used some tacky glue. Thanks for the suggestions. I might use that because uh, it'll, uh, it'll hold a bit longer for me to position it instead of falling apart while it's too wet. Super glue will react faster on wood than it would on a miniature. Oh, I didn't know that. I, uh, I know it does, does glue your fingers together. I've, I've done that before when I was a teenager working on a miniature. Um, but I don't know if I've ever tried super glue on, well, I don't work with wood that much. Um, especially for model kits and stuff. But I will definitely try super glue next time or on this model even when we when I finish the stream. Uh, on a safe piece, something I can, uh, <laughs> I don't mind working quickly with. And then I, I won't have to reposition later on. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. Okay. Yay, door. A door. Ooh, Gorilla Instant Glue. Yeah, I love Gorilla Glues. Like this, this wood glue is Gorilla too. It's so good. Um, Cause it actually dries pretty fast for wood glue. Usually they take a long time to cure, but this one is like pretty decent um, in that it creates a pretty strong bond in a relatively short amount of time. So I'm pretty happy about that. And now, I'm just going to make sure that this cures okay and the hinges are glued on well. And then I'll set this aside. <sighs> okay. 
Now I gotta glue on something. The next piece is B. No, the piece I just did, which is which is this piece, I can glue it actually onto the frame of this of the house. So I'm gonna do that. So we're just gonna put some glue up here. And then glue this onto the frame. Yeah, Gorilla Glue is a great brand. Um, I don't know, it's just the stuff they make so strong. Okay. So again, I'm just gonna layer a little bit of glue. I don't need, don't need to use too much. Because when working with wood, wood glue bonds very well, just like it's supposed to. All right. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's got all the contact points. I'm gonna glue this on here, just like so. Ooh, I like that it's snug. It's gluing pretty snug, so it's it's always satisfying when uh, it feels like you got a stronger bond. Oh, I should probably put a little bit of glue in here. When the pieces fit snugly together, it's pretty nice. Okay, yeah. The base especially. This part's a little bit, um, got some resistance to the top part here, but I wonder if I have a rubber band somewhere. I'm gonna deck this kit out afterwards too. I, I was just talking about that earlier. Um, not sure if I'm gonna deck it out. So I did like these houses in the stucco type um, stuff before these ones have a more yellowish uh, more yellowish I don't know it's 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 a bit textured on the outside so I'll use it for a bit and see but most likely I'll probably put the a thin layer of like the stucco type stuff I have I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go quickly see if I have a rubber band so I can just tie that and hold it um, I'll be right back in two seconds. Okay. There we go, that works good. Now that's holding. We got the bottom floor that's pretty, pretty good. Actually. I'm being a bit OCD about having all the, the joints Perfect and seamless. The elastic band was kind of working, but this is a little bit not square, so I'm just gonna probably square up this wall. That'll be the best. Um, it's kind of the only thing I can do with the elastic band, though. Yeah, you know what? That's that's good enough. It's, it is what it is. So, you, I'm, you're, I'm sure you're not gonna notice once it's, once it's built. We'll just continue on with the next wall. Okay, next one is B6. I don't think we've used this yet. B6 is over here. Yes, I don't have to dig in the pile for B6. This is great.
And then B6, I believe, just goes on the other wall here. Just like so. So that looks like an easy, an easy glue. That goes like that, that goes on there. Yeah, it's a lot more satisfying to watch the big pieces than the little, the little tiny finicky pieces, isn't it? And it should glue on pretty well. Make sure I don't glue it to the mat board that I'm using here. But I'll just put this on like so. Yep, that's fitting nicely. That's good, that's good, that's good. And we can almost, we can almost complete the room. However, let's see what they ask us to do. If there's any hidden steps, it looks like there's a hidden step. What is this? Ah, back to the doors. Just make sure these hinges are working. I don't want to glue them shut. Seems to be okay. Um, I wonder if I can do this first and then put the doors on. Going out of order again, which screwed us over last time. It should be fine though, because the hinges just stick in. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna do it, who cares? We're gonna do it. I'll put the doors on later. Um, uh, Chris, you missed the, uh, <laughs> you missed the door debacle. So there we had a, we had a lot of uh, fiddly bits with the doors. So I'm kind of tired of doing them. Um, and we're into like gluing big pieces on. So we're gonna glue this piece on here. Yeah, Rebel. Rebel time. It is a pretty sizable um, piece though. It's kind of nice. This is, this is my smallest uh, homemade DIY piece that I made. This is the other one. You can get for scale. You can just see for scale. It's like the medium size one. So, and this is going to be three stories. So it's going to probably be, you can't see my hand, but it's going to be three of these. So it's, it's pretty decent size. And then this kit has um, three houses. So this is one of the houses. This is going to be great. Uh, which side? So it's always the clean side that faces the outside. There's a dirty side, which is like, it has that laser cut uh, wood ash on it. And then the clean side. So it's pretty easy to see which side you're gluing. You don't have to worry about screwing that up because one side's dirty, one side's clean. Um, but yeah. This to this. And just in here. And again fitting quite nicely. Just like so. And then I think we have like little gables or something going off that we can glue on. We have to finish the steps going up the stairs and we can put these little gables on. Um, Ooh, there's actually also little bricks that come out here. So we're gonna add little bricks that come out. I don't know where those pieces are, but that's pretty cool. I guess, cause I, this looks kind of weird. It looks kind of plain, but apparently there's like these dark 
like brick pieces that looks like it's gonna look like broken kind of broken piece of wall here that where the stuccos came off come off and shows the dark brick underneath so that's pretty cool um but yeah we're gonna try to find these c c1 and c2 these these uh gables that go off the the outside um thinking they're going to be in this complicated piece here, but I'll probably be wrong. C1, C1, C1. Nope, they're not here. Aha, here they are. They are right here. So. I'm going to just pop these out. And these should be easy to glue on. You know, I don't mind kits like these because they, they give me things to do uh, or something to do. Uh, I, I was obsessed with the Legos when I was a kid. Um, so this is kind of like the same kind of cathartic exercise in building something. Maybe not the door hinges. I could pass on those, but everything else is pretty, is pretty nice. And then what else do I need? C, C1, C2, and C3. So that was C1 and C2. C3 might be on another sprue. But we'll just glue the, these ones. And how do they glue together? So C1's on the outside and C2's in the middle. So that... Mm, so just like so. Just like that. That's pretty nice. It gives it some nice, uh, nice little detail. Uh-oh. Those don't, uh, those don't lie flat though. What goes on top of this? Might have to plan ahead here. I think it's just the... I think it's the balcony. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's actually, the whole thing lifts off. So even if I build the balcony, it's not gluing onto here. So I'll just have to make sure these glue straight. That's all. That shouldn't be too hard. I'll do the easy ones first. Which side should... I don't know if I answered this. Which side should face the outside? Um, oh yeah, I did answer that before. It's the clean pieces. So these ones just go in like this. And those go like that. And then these ones, these ones don't, uh, they don't lie as flat. But I think once we get some glue in there, should be okay. I think it'll be okay. I should have probably used super glue on these pieces. That's fine. I can probably just put some, uh, lay something flat there that'll do the trick. Or I think even if I just hold it here for a while enough, for long enough, it should, should be okay. See, it's already starting to dry. Make sure this is straight. There, we got that uh, support for the balcony. Just like so. Well, it's kind of like fake support. Nothing's really going to be resting on it. Okay, moving along. We have... Um, what do we have? got the stairs 
Oh, it shows the next floor. So did we really complete this floor? I guess we still have to finish the stairs. Um, and do some other things. But I'll probably do that another time. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see, this is how far we came today. Here's the progress. Just to uh, get this out of the way so you can see a bit better. Yoink. Okay. So we just put these on, we put these walls up. We're almost done the stairs, we just gotta go up here. And then there's another floor and another floor that goes on top. We gotta put the doors over here. Um, but I think I can kind of pick it up and show you guys in greater detail what it kind of looks like so far we got the doors over here that swing still drying but they do swing open and closed yes i think they do yeah they do um but yeah Build a secret room in the stairway, like Harry Potter. I mean, you could. I could paint one in anyway. I don't know if I, I could actually cut one in. Might be an idea. Um, if not, I could definitely paint one in. Should be fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think that about wraps it up for today. I'm not gonna go. I'm, this is a kind of a shorter stream than normal. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's actually almost been an hour. It's been an hour and twenty minutes. So. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up and go eat pretty soon. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, if not, um, I'll probably sign out, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty nice model. I will, I'll get some more of this done on my own. I might do another stream of this. I might not. Depends how much, um, how long it takes me, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably just work away on, on it a little bit every day um and then we'll use it for an upcoming uh upcoming blood and plunder probably live stream and then i'll probably use it for D, &D at some point as well ah total build time okay cool so this has been an hour and 20 minutes on stream and off stream i'll let you know next time <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for joining um, if you're just, uh, new to my channel or watching this on replay, please don't forget to, um, like, and subscribe if you like my content. Um, but yeah, thanks so much and have a great night. See you.